going to be here. OK. I got my Uncle Ben in here. OK, I got my mom, C, Mark. I like it. This is the best game you ever played? Best game I ever played. Uh, I left it all on the field. I left it all out in the field. Uh, Coach and I were just talking about that. It was one of the best, I think, you know. Uh, I think, though, guys were making plays like crazy tonight. You know, offensive line did a tremendous job against a very, very good defensive line. They gave me time. They gave me opportunities. Um, we found guys down the field. We made plays. Chris Carson ran the ball unbelievably well. Um, my O-line did great there. Um, and then DK Metcalf on the deep post. I mean, that was that was pure perfection on that. Uh, Tyler Lockett, the, the the toe tap. I mean, doesn't get any more uh, on time and on the money with uh, his footwork there and just the play that we had to make. And uh, today was special. And then we had a few other plays. Defense was great. You know, defense kept battling, kept battling. We kept believing. We kept believing. We kept believing even to the last little second there. And uh, and then on the fourth down in the red zone um, or the you know the play that we hit Chris on. Um, he just kind of stepped up and scrambled, and I was about to take off and run. And out of the corner of my eye, kind of on my peripheral, I see Chris. And I'm like, oh, psh, popped it to him. And I didn't, I didn't notice he bobbled it. <laughs> I was like ready and celebrating already. Uh, but that was pretty amazing. So it was a great game. You know, it was a Seahawks Rams NFC West matchup. You know, uh, last year it came down to the wire, too. Um, and so it was just, the crowd was incredible. I mean, it didn't get any better than that. So it was special tonight. Can you afterwards, what was behind that emotion? Yeah, you know, um, just emotional because, you know, tonight was, you know, to tribute Paul Allen. You know, I think about, you know, what he meant to this world and what he meant to just me personally and my family. Um, you know, he gave me an opportunity to play here. Uh, you know, I always say to you guys, you know, I'm one of 32 men in the world that get to do what I get to do. And uh, I'm grateful for that. You know, I'm grateful for that. And, you know, I was telling the guys in the locker room because I, I had the game ball and wanted to give it to Bert, who's, uh, you know, Paul Allen's one of his best friends and coworkers and everything else, and called Bert up. And I just was telling the guys, you know, for the guys who didn't know Paul, um, Paul was a person who believed big. You know, he, he you know, I, I was telling the guys, you got to think big, you got to believe big. And that's what we've been saying. And just, uh, he was he was exactly that, Paul Allen. He was a person who created Microsoft. He was a person who um, made a difference in the world, cared about the world, cared about others, cared about, you know, animals, people, uh, loved music, you know. Um, and so, you know, I, I'll never forget when uh, we, we were going to the Super Bowl the first time, and I think I've told you guys this story before, but I got a knock on my door uh, the next morning after we won the NFC Championship game. and. You know, the night before when we won the game, you know, we were on the podium in the NFC Championship game and uh, singing Frank Sinatra, you know, we're about to head to New York and and uh, Paul kind of leans at me, taps me, and he says, I didn't know you liked Frank. <laughs> and uh, I'll never forget that. And uh, I just laugh and say, yeah, I grew up listening to this. I'm an old school guy. Next morning, I got a knock on my door. I'm like, who's knocking on my door? And you know, the car Lee using. Uh, and got a, a, a set of uh, Frank Sinatra uh, CDs, tapes, and everything else, the Rat Pack. And uh, that's the kind of person he was. He was a person of love, a person who cared about others. And uh, it was just, it was emotional. I think I was telling the guys, I think at the end of the game, he uh, he, he blew a little wind on that to the right. Whew, just he could bounce right. So it was cool tonight. You know, chat with him later, maybe and say thank you. Say again. You're gonna say thank you later when you. Uh, oh yeah, all my prayers. I'll, I'll, I'll thank God first, and I'll thank Paul too. He's up there watching. What's your favorite throw from tonight? Favorite throw? Well, I, I don't know. I there were some good ones in there. I think Tyler, you know, Tyler's one was pretty cool. Just giving him a chance, and he made a great catch. And but I would say my th favorite throw was the game-winning one. You know, that, I mean, like play the game to win. You know, you don't play the game to get close. You know, so I think that was that was the one we needed. You mentioned the offensive line earlier. For Jamarco Jones to come in, he was saying in there he's never played guard before in the game. <laughs> to, to come in and do that, just against that defense, how, how Yeah, I mean, I was telling Jamarco the sideline, you know, I was like, yeah, you're ready, you're ready, you know, and he hadn't really played guard, so I didn't know if he was really ready. <laughs> but uh, but he played great. I mean, you got Aaron Donald on the other side, you know, arguably the best defensive lineman ever played the game. Uh, and he handled uh, things great. I thought he was poised. You know, he's a big time player. We we love his work ethic. He's been kind of hopping in guard every once in a while, just you know, just to uh, you know give another guy a break or whatever. But he hasn't really played it, and he thought he was amazing tonight. And so, the whole line from Dwayne to Big Mike to to Britt, um, you know, to obviously Jamarco and Fetty, they they kept it together. They kept focusing on what we were trying to do, and we found a way.
You now lead the NFL in touchdown passes uh, for this season. The three guys behind you, Mahomes, Brissett, and Lamar, are all black quarterbacks. This hasn't really ever happened before. But through your development in this league and, and all that's happened to you, does it ever just you stop to think how far you've come, how far everyone's come in that regard? Yeah, I think that, um, you know, I don't think it should be about the color of your skin. I don't think it should be about how tall you are or whatever. I think if you got it, you got it. And uh, there's been some other great quarterbacks before me. You know, I think about Doug Williams winning the Super Bowl and then me being uh, the second uh, African-American to win the Super Bowl has been a blessing. Um, you know, there's other, so many other great quarterbacks. I think about guys, uh, I think of all the great quarterbacks, you know, that have played before me. And so, um, and like I said, I, I think more than anything else, you know, I think it's cool that other people are getting their opportunities, you know, to play. Um, you know, like I said, it shouldn't matter, you know, what you look like. You know, if you can play, you can play. And um, there's a lot of great quarterbacks in this league, you know, no matter white, black, anything else. You know, it's uh, it's just about playing great. You know, it's about being leading a group of people. It's about you know, helping others. It's about, you know, trying to put your best fo foot forward every time, you know. And so, uh, you, know, you know, the journeys, uh, I think, for me, is I, I, for me personally, I feel like I'm, I'm just beginning, you know, just at the start of it all. On the field goal try at the end, and what was going through your head? Well, I was praying, first of all. I was on the sideline. I was waving my towel before, and then once they got close to field goal range, I know how good Zerline is. I'm like, oh, I saw him kick a ball uh, my, I don't know what year it was, second, third year, whatever, at St. Louis, and he, I mean, I think it was 62 yards or something like that. I'm like, okay, he's, he can kick it from anywhere. And, uh, you know, I was I was waving my flag. I said, you know, I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> I'm gonna start praying here. And uh, sure enough, the ball was snapped. The ball was kicked, and I kind of slowly got up, I believe, and he missed it. And I I, I don't know who I, I started shaking. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. I I'm kind of blanked out. I started shaking somebody like, let's go. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't even really remember. <laughs> to be honest with you. It's crazy how in in sports a game like this. I mean, the emotions throughout the game are up and down. But I mean, you're a, a foot away from what was an amazing victory with huge celebration, which would have been, you know, a, an insanely difficult defeat that you know you got to swallow through the through the weekend and, and move forward. So I mean, is that, is that kind of wild to you as a competitor? I think mean, that's makes it. That's what makes it fun. You know, I think the key is staying neutral, keeping your mindset neutral. You know, uh, not being too high, not being too low. Um, you know, when you're playing great teams and you're a great team too, there's going to be some uh, great plays out there that they're going to make and we're going to make some and it's going to go back and forth and you can't get too high, too low. And I think that's what we did tonight. I thought the defense, like I said, stayed composed. The crowd was amazing tonight. I think offensively we kept believing. We had no doubt that we were going to get it done. And uh, sure enough, we did. What did you think of Tedrick's interception? Did you get? Oh, I mean, he's he, I, when he came into the uh, National Football League in his senior year, he, he led the uh, NCAA in interceptions. So I, you know, I, I've seen him make plays and practice and just crazy catches, things he's done. And you know, he's got amazing hands. So that was an incredible catch. So um, you know, it's one of those things you remember for the rest of your life, rest of the season. You know, those type of things. So you've been doing this for a while now at this level, but you don't always get mentioned among the elite guys. Do you feel, does that bother you at all? Dwayne said he feels like people are starting to recognize, but but how do you process that? Yeah, I, I just I just try to be consistent, you know. I, Bobby and I always have a saying, don't get bored with consistency. So I, that's my thing, just be consistent, stay the course. Um, let wins speak for themselves. You know, I think it's about winning. That's why I come to play the game. It's not about me. It's about winning. It's about other guys and it's about us. It's about whatever we can do. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm blessed to have great teammates and, uh, and, and great coaches and great fans, too. You know, and so we get to do this thing together. So, you know, uh, they make they make me better. They made some great plays tonight. And, um, you know, so it, they make it easy on me. Some of those throws, Russell, that seem so improbable, the confidence for you to make them, is it because you've done it in practice? Because it never seems like you're reckless with the ball, but, but some of the throws seem risky. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's, you know, when you've thrown a football your whole life growing up, I used to throw my dad's San Diego Chargers ball at my mom's in here. I used to throw my dad's San Diego Chargers ball that was painted when he caught a touchdown against 49ers. I used to have target practice in the house, uh, you know, so. Uh, you know, so anyways, I, I think that you, you practice your whole life for this, you know, God made me for it, you know, and so, um, like I said, you know, all off season, we've been, we've been working, we've been working, working, working all season, you know, and you get your, you get your reps before practice, after practice, you try, try things with guys, see what guys are capable of. And we got a lot of guys that are very, very capable. And so I think that's, they make it easy on me, like I said, and just give guys chances. And to see it hit like that, you know, in, in a game in that setting. To see what? To see it hit, you know, to, come, to come through and get a touchdown on 
you know, kind of these, you know, seemingly miraculous kind of plays. Yeah, you know, I, I think about uh, I think about Steph Curry, you know. I think when you think about Steph Curry, you know, how he shoots a basketball, that's how I want to throw a football, you know. Uh, you know, put it on the money. He makes some crazy throws, makes some crazy plays. You know, I, I love watching sports, and he's one of my favorite guys to watch, you know, uh, just how he shoots a basketball. So, you know, you don't get there by, by, not, by not working at it, by not believing it. And, uh, you know, so you got to love the game. You got to love the process of it all. And so that's what, that's what makes it happen. Anything else? Thanks, Russ. Thank you, guys. Go Hawks. Yep. Let's go.